I'm going to show you how to fold this flexagon that I demonstrated at the Museum of Mathematics in mid-August 2021. It's a it's a flexagon that the folds um, I designed. I also made this cool um, these cool little visuals for it for people to color in, and that that'll be available at a link at the bottom of this video. So. Uh, yeah, it folds in all sorts of cool ways, and it has little pockets that you can use to. It has pockets and wings. That's what I like about. It. That's something I like about it. So you can use the pockets to uh, to help turn it, and they'll create designs. But you've got to find them yourself. Okay. So this is, looks like a bit of a yeah. There we go. Nice one to end on. It's the heart. Okay, so what you'll need is uh, what you'll need is a few paper clips, some glue, scissors, and a square. So I've got this square here. It's printed on one side because only you only end up seeing one side. And what you would need to start off doing is making this arrangement of squares in here. And I call this by, by doing W's because what I'll do is I'll fold it in half and then fold up the edges. And that's one W. Then turn it, do the same thing, fold the middle, fold it the middle, fold the edges to the fold, and make those fold creases really good. And that's another W. Okay, so now you've got your 16 little squares in here. Next thing is you cut a T. From the center okay so there's the center that's what you're doing and the way I'll do that is I'll fold this in half and there's a fold line right there and I cut to the fold line the thing to remember here is that so here's the fold line that we're cutting on is that you want to go directly you want to go right up to this intersection if you don't go far enough you're going to end up tearing the paper when it comes time to do the folding. If you go a little too far, that's fine. Uh, it's best to try to get right on there, but going too far is much better than going not far enough. So, to make the T, I'll start with this cut. And then open it up. That's one part of the T. And cut here. Now because this is doubled, sometimes this side doesn't go all the way. That looks pretty good. These all look good. It's always good to check. Okay, next we're going to be bringing these corners to the middle. So think of these as like four little squares. And each square has a center. So we're going to bring each one of these corners of each of these little squares to its own little center. And the square I'm using here is about 10 by 10, but I've made them even with 5 by 5 and they work out fine. They uh, just as long as it's a square. It doesn't really matter how big it is. The the template that I'm going to have you that's that'll be available to for you to download. Um, I think that's an eight by eight. Okay, so now there we go. Next step will be I'm gonna bring the edges of this to the center. Now this is where most people will make a mistake if they're going to make a mistake in the folding. Um, we want to be sure to bring these these uh, from this position, bringing these diagonal corners to the diagonal corners here. So what some people will do is fold it like this. Don't do that. Make sure you're bringing the diagonals together. So here we go. Remember, make all your folds really tight. That's 
one looks like it could be folded a little, in a little bit better. There we go. You'll notice there's a little bit of a gap there. That's not going to bother me at all because I'm not going to see that one at all when this is done. Okay, so now all my corners have been folded to the center. Next step, I'm going to flip it over and make these, I'm going to make these like little, uh, these little folds right here in the corners. And the way I do that is I bring it right to the middle. Well, Maya actually has a middle line, but you might have to make that middle line by folding the paper. So, if you don't have a design on yours. So you might want to start off by folding. Now, I, I, this is a lot of layers, so it's kinking. But wherever you have a kink, you just cur make a curl. Make a little curl, curl, and then it'll fold nicely. I'm going to fold there, and doing these separately because I've got little kinks in there all over the place. See, so I'm just putting my finger in and curling it. Okay, and then I can bring these to the center, because that's where my fold line is. Really make these nice and tight. And this is just one side. I've got to do it um, on all four sides, and this is doing two sides. There we go. I'm going to bring it in a little bit closer, I think. Let's see. There we go. And open it up, turn it, and do the same thing. So I get all those lines in and all those corners in. Remember, we're doing this on the side that doesn't have the, the split in it. The side is up. Bring the edges to the center. You don't have to press in the middle because there's really nothing to fold there. There we go. Sadly, most of these circles are going to disappear when we do when uh, when it's finished. Okay. So now this is the side you see it's got all the little corners in, the corner folds. Now we flip it over again so we're back on the side that has this split in it. And oh, I forgot a step. Turn it back over again. Okay. Here's a step. Here's um it's always good to have your notes nearby. Uh, so what we're going to do is bring these corners to the middle. And that should be pretty easy to find because You've got these so many folds in here already, so I can just fold down to line up to the folds that are there. Giving me a little bit of a hard time because there's so many layers of folds here. But I will, my will will prevail here because this is paper. Okay, so those are all nice and tight. Make that a little bit better. Okay, now I'm going to turn, flip it over again, and so this is what I've got, and that's what it looks like before I flipped it over, and now this is kind of, this is another sort of part, This we're, we're actually just about done. Um, let me see how I explain this. So you, you made these folds in the corners, 
right? We're actually going to sort of bring those together like this. I'm going to squeeze it together. So you've got this is what makes the little wings, and this is where we need the glue. Um, it's good to have a little piece of little bits of scrap around, and I'm going to use my post-it. I'm going to put this right here and right here, and I only actually really need to glue um, half of this corner, but I really want to get right to this edge. So actually, the post-it works very nicely because it, it masks that, and I'm going to squeeze this corner together then. And this is where I get to use my paper clips. Because as I'm manipulating this, I really want this, this to stay in place. Stay closed. And I'll go to all four corners. And you can get yourself a little bit turned around here. But uh, it should work out if you're careful. I'm going to mark that this is the top of my post stick so I can because I can reuse this. Line it up there, mask it off, put this underneath. And bring these together. If these little wings somehow for you end up on the inside rather than the outside, that's fine. I'm doing this on all four corners because this is the way that I do it. But if you end up doing it on just uh, two or three of the corners, you'll end up with a slightly different structure. Uh, that's actually kind of fun too. So uh, feel free to experiment with that. Okay. one bring that together put on my paper clip put on my paper clip and get excited okay where are my pockets it doesn't seem like this has any pockets I need to flip it over okay there's my pockets when you get your pockets kind of like open them and then fold them in the middle make sure that what you want what what happens now is you just need to uh, make all your folds just a little sharper there it goes and you can use those folds to uh, help you turn your design you can use these little wings to help you turn your design this has all sorts of shapes. I've played with these a lot, and I keep finding all sorts of different designs. It's not like a regular flexagon that has like a pretty much a, uh, a standard kind of uh, route. This can do all sorts of things, partially because of this, this um, opening in the middle. So you can put it in all sorts of different kinds of configurations, and I made a little video on that too. So that's it, and I hope you make it, and if you can send me pictures, and I'd be so happy to see them, and don't forget your notes when you're making them. <laughs> okay, have fun.